Hi, I'm Emily from Visufund. I'd like to thank Howard Lake for inviting me to share my fundraising tune of the day, which is Pan, the first movement from Benjamin Britten's Six Metamorphoses After Ovid for solo oboe. So that was Pan by Benjamin Britten, and if you're not too familiar with Greek mythology, Pan was the Greek god of the wild. There are lots of stories about Pan that we could talk about. For example, his name is the origin for the word panic, because he used to shout so loudly that his opponents would flee from battles. Pan was also a great musician who crafted a pan pipe from reeds in memory of his lost love. But the story I want to talk about today was that apparently, unlike all the other immortal gods, Pan was the only Greek god who actually died. The news of his death was announced by a divine voice who famously said, the great god Pan is dead. That's it. We don't know how he died, only that he did. Naturally, with many pieces missing from this puzzle, people have debated this for many years. Some people claim that Pan's death actually signalled the birth of Christ. Others claim that the story has been mistranslated and he didn't die at all. But regardless of what you believe, it's fair to say that in some way Pan is immortal. His legacy lives on in stories, art, poetry and music, as we've just heard. So my fundraising tip of the day is dedicated to legacy and in-memory fundraisers. In ancient times, you weren't considered truly dead until your name was spoken for the last time and had vanished from people's memories. You may have heard this referred to as the third death. As fundraisers, you have the most wonderful opportunity to be able to extend that third death for your supporters, to share the stories of the amazing people who have left gifts in their wills, or to invite families to keep sharing memories and photos and saying their loved one's name. So my tip is to celebrate the names of your donors and legators. Whether you have a physical donor wall, a list of names in your annual report, or just some space online dedicated to the names of the people who have made your work possible. Keep saying their names, give thanks and pay tribute often, and you can extend that third death 
by making sure their legacy lives on through the great work that you do. I'd love to hear how you celebrate the names of your donors and the people who are remembered through your charity. I hope you enjoyed my fundraising tune of the day. Take care.